another locus problem for complex number is uh, a very interesting one and the condition says that argument of z minus z1 divided by z minus z2 is equal to alpha now for this particular illustration i have taken alpha to be a positive angle okay so alpha can lie between 0 to pi so you can see that uh, argument of z minus z1 by z minus z2 now according to the rotation concept we know that uh, we consider z minus z2 to be the initial position of the rotation and uh, z minus z1 is considered to be the final position in the rotation so from the initial position we are rotating up to the final position and we are traveling an angle alpha okay this is the geometrical significance of this statement so i have already considered the figure like a and b are two given fixed complex numbers and uh, z is a variable locus complex number locus point representing the complex number z so the final vector i have drawn to be z minus z1 okay this is the vector z minus z1 and the initial vector is z minus z2 so according to the condition z minus z2 if rotated about the pivotal point p by an angle alpha will be reaching the direction of z minus z1 okay so according to the condition we can say that as the point p will move on certain path then this angle bpa the angle bpa is every time going to be equal to alpha okay like if i take the point p here again the angle bpa should be equal to alpha if i take the point p here bpa will be alpha if i take the point p here then bpa will be alpha so every time the angle is constant is equal to alpha so you see that when alpha is an acute angle and uh, for every point on a path the alpha is constant then according to the geometrical property of circle we can say that the locus of p is going to be the major arc of a circle okay with a b as a chord okay so line joining a and b will act as a chord and p will lie on the major arc of a circle okay so in this case we are getting the locus to be the major arc but on the other case you see that when alpha is lying between pi by 2 to pi that is alpha is an obtuse angle in that case the rotation angle will be an obtuse angle so bpa will be obtuse every time for all the points on the path so when the angle is an obtuse angle then we can say that the locus is going to be minor arc of a circle with ab as chord okay so this is the minor arc of a complete circle but uh, point P can only lie on the minor arc of the circle because only on the minor arc the angle between the two chords is going to be an obtuse angle. Okay, So when it is an acute angle that is alpha lies between 0 to pi by 2 then the locus is going to be the major arc of a circle and when alpha is lying between pi by 2 to pi then it's going to be minor arc of a circle.